Alright, so I made a slight error, which is going to be for your benefit. Um, I made a mistake on the start of this install for the uh, cabin air filters. But watch through the end, and you're going to see that there's a correction from my original um, instructions. Alright, but it'll make your life easier by my screw up. What's up, YouTube? Today, we are going to be replacing the cabin filters inside the queue. And uh, while I was doing one, I figured I might as well get the uh, a filter for the QX70 as well. And then I got my little psychic here about to help out. <laughs> <laughs> These are the two filters. I got this one for the Q. And this other one I got for the QX70. I figured they would be the same, but they're actually different. Because the cars are extremely similar, so I figured they'd be the same setup, but... The part numbers were different on some websites, and then some websites they said they were interchangeable, but I went with Rock Auto, they said everything was different. And when I got them, they do look different. So. Daddy, wanna work on me? Not right now, kiddo. This is the one for the Q50. Q50? Is it going to start for your car? Yes, we heard. And then, this one. Is there another one for mommy's? Yes, the other one's for mommy's car. Is there a white one? As you can see, it does look different. Uh, this one's still in the bag. But uh, this one actually has a hard edge around all sides. This one doesn't. So I guess it is a slightly different design uh, between the SUV and the sedan, so. Here's the airflow arrow. So, but today we're going to do the Q50 and I'm uh, going to show you guys how to do that. Alright, so here we are in the Q on the passenger side. And yes, I still have the plastic on the floor mats. They've been there since I bought the car. I never, I rarely ever have passengers, so that's why the plastic is still on it. So, the air cleaner, let's see if we can get this turned on here for you, is inside the glove box and that little panel that you see right there. So, to get to that panel, you have to drop the glove box. So you have to take out the screws here, 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 and here. And there's also one down here in the bottom corner over here, and one in this bottom corner over here. So after you pull all those down, the glove box should just drop down, and then you can get the access to that panel in the back. So I'm gonna put the camera down while I do this. I'll be right back. All right, peoples. So after you remove all those screws I mentioned, who are you talking to? Since somebody wants, what do you mean? Who am I talking to? Are you talking to Auntie Mama? No, I'm talking to Facebook or YouTube actually. Not Facebook. Forget Facebook. I are you talking to me. And I'm talking to you. Can I get back to what I was doing? Yes. All right. So, anyways, when you uh, after you take the uh, screws out. There's a little hooks that go in right here. On the bottom, there's two of them. So you really, all you have to do is when you get on here, just kind of put some pressure on the bottom and just pop it up and it comes I off. To stand up here. So now when that's down, you see the little cover right here. That just pops right off. Inside. And here is a filter. You see? Airflow pointing down. And this thing is filthy. That one's filthy. Ew. That's just nasty, girl. You can't have that one. Yeah. That's what we've been breathing in all this time. Much better, do you think? Uh -huh. Much better. It's much better? Mm -hmm. Alright, so. You gotta remember the airflow comes from the engine compartment 
and comes down. And if you ever wondered, that's what it looks like inside there. Through there, you're looking at the back side of the uh, battery cover. So then we just slide the new one in, airflow down. Put our covers back on. I'm, I'm sitting next to you. I move all the stuff. I move all the stuff out the way. Thank you, Serge. I put them on the ground where your feet used to go. Where my feet used to go? Yeah. So what? Now I can't drive the car no more. No, you can still. I have your permission. Yeah, you can still drive this car. All right. All right, so this part takes uh, two hands to steady this to put the glove back uh, in place. But you just put it in place, get the hooks to latch in here, line it up, and then put all your screws back in, and you're good to go. All right, so um, something I realized after I finished this, we actually did not need to remove any of these screws. Like all of this is actually, you don't have to take any of the screws out. If you just reach underneath the glove box when it's partially open, where I was showing you where those little hooks are, if you get your hand under there and you just pull up, see, it just pops off. And then you do it on this side, and then it just drops down. Nice and simple. Because I was wondering why after I took it apart, I still had the, all the holes there. I was like, why did I take those out? Well, I learned something, so now you know. All you need to do is just reach your hand underneath and just pop it up over these little clips, and then it'll pop right out. But look at this thing. All sorts of stuff in there. Is that a dream? Nah, that's a filter, remember? Why is it a filter? To clean the air that we breathe. So. <clears throat> I have a new one so we can clean the air we breathe. Yeah, so this nastiness can go in the garbage now. Yeah. It doesn't always work anymore. Yeah, now the car could be nice and clean. Ready to go for a ride? Tomorrow, because I'm not driving anymore tonight. All right? Tomorrow. Yeah, we can do something tomorrow.